All right, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a, a little bit more of a detailed tutorial on how to build an augmented reality application using Unity, Vuforia, and um, exporting models and materials from your three-dimensional program, whether it be, in my case, Cinema 4D. Um, and you can do this from any as long as you can export it as an FBX and export the animation data using that uh, that export file type. So. This should apply to a lot of different programs, but if you have any questions about it specifically, leave me a question and I'll try to get back to you. So, the first thing we did is we modeled a building. And this, is, this particular building is in Denver, all right? And we wanted to have an animation of the bus pull up and then drive away, all right? So you can see that, yeah, in this, this is a really crude animation. We didn't spend a lot of time on this, but or you see the bus pulling up and, and, and driving away. And it's got 180 frames of animation data. You know, we could have made this a lot more. There's not too much of a limit when it comes to doing that in Unity. All right, so then we're gonna go File, Export. As I said in FBX, make sure that you've named all your materials as unique names, and not just Material 1, Material 2, Material 3. And then we're gonna hit Save. All right, next thing you're gonna need to do is you are going to want to get a couple things going. First of all, you're going to want to get the personal Unity program. Okay, you can get it at the Unity store here. It's free. Um, you can even get started with developing your own Unity applications, games. Um, then you're going to want to get, for me, I'm iOS, so you're going to need to get an Apple developer license. So you're going to go to developer.apple.com and you're going to click Enroll. To start your enrollment, I believe it's, I forget the price, yearly, it's somewhere between maybe like $100 for the year, something like that, to be able to put things in the App Store. All right, so now you've done that. The final thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to create a Vuforia developer account. And this is free, okay? So you sign up there, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our first Unity project and then we are going to import our model and it's already in here but to show you how to do that you go to assets import new asset and let's just try this one even though this is not the same model but it's the same process and it'll say importing small assets and it'll have you all right so we finally imported our model in and um, it's going to look like this Basically, uh, you've got the model with this little play icon. All that does is expands everything that came in along with that. That includes all the shapes, materials, and even the animation, okay? So if we inspect this, this is what it looks like when you click on the FBX. You'll see it down here, a little, uh, little view that shows you the animation data, but it's not ready to go yet. So what you need to do is, under clip, if you can, you can decide whether or not you want to loop the time, I've done that. You're going to apply that however you want, and you can call it anything you want. And this, um, this is your animation data right here. So to make that active, go to just simply take it and drag it on to your model, and now under animator, where it was basically blank before, it'll now say the animator is this model. And this data is now, that's, this is now active, okay? Now, we're talking about Vuforia. If you go into Vuforia and you've downloaded it basically with your new account, you've downloaded the Unity extension, okay? I've already done that. And then you've imported it as a custom package, all right? Here's Vuforia right here. You're going to hit open. Same thing you do with that asset. Everything comes in. Hit accept. You're now going to have all of these items inside of Unity. We're going to go to prefabs. The two things that you need are the AR camera, which I have, and the image target, which I have. But you don't have any information yet until you've gone through and created your trackers and your target managers inside of Euphoria. So 
what you need to do is go to develop and I've created this one called HFF okay so you're just gonna click click get development key call it whatever you want alright and that's how I got to having this alright it's already active you click on it and now you've got a nice key that you can copy and go into Vuforia, open the configuration, and you can paste right there. But you see how mine says load the HFF database? Yours isn't going to say that yet because you haven't created that yet. So the next step is to go to Target Manager, and yours would say zero. Mine says one because I have one target which is this floor plan here that you upload. Make sure you upload something that's got a lot of different uh, trackable items in it and it'll give you a nice rating of how augmentable it is. All right. And then we're gonna download this database for Unity, okay? And I've already done that. You can see it right here, hff3.unity package. The same way we brought in the um, before the package, we're going to bring in now the HFF package, okay? And that package will basically be your data set. You're not going to see it anywhere, but it's now going to give you this option over here to load your database and activate it. And then we're going to make sure that load objects on detection is there, okay? Um, so you should be good to go, and then with your image target, just make sure that it says the material that you're using, okay? Make sure that under shader it says that. And here's our image target. This is something that is also, I mean, we can resize this if you want. You can scale this up um, to ensure, just ensure that it's probably gonna fit. Uh, we don't want this to be, you know, like that. And then you can see the, uh, the border details. We want it to be kind of probably inside of it. So we should be good to go. Um, what we're going to try now is we're going to hit the play button. You're going to see my ugly face. Okay. And here is my printed out target. And voila. There we go. I've got the building with the animation data. And my bus pulling up and looping. Now you are going to have that little Vuforia watermark. But for right now, since you're a beginner developer, there's no reason to pay for the advanced license yet. Okay. Now, the final thing you got to do is export this as an app. Um, and that's going to require Xcode. So we're going to go to File, Build Settings. For me, I'm developing an iOS, but it, it, you, you just started doing this and you didn't switch your platform, you might have to click on iOS and click switch platform and that can take anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes depending on how much stuff you actually had inside of uh, your Unity project. And then you're going to want to take a look at your player settings. Um, I've got this default icon. I actually don't want to have a default cursor. That was stupid. Um, resolution and presentation. Now you pr pretty much only need landscape left. The icon I just threw in the icon, but you can override it so that it's um, it's all coming from that one the one image. And you just want to make sure that uh, let's see, yeah, all this is good. You don't need to change anything here. I'm just kind of showing you what my settings are. Um, yeah, so when you're good to go. Just click build and run. Now this is where that Apple developer license comes in because it's going to take you to um, Xcode. All right, this is Xcode. And this is our project, okay, that we exported from Unity and brought into Xcode. Under signing, you're going to have to make sure that you have a team member. And that's how you get your, that's from when you get your developer license and you put it in here. So my iPhone developer. Um, display name, you can change that to whatever. And I've got my phone connected right here as my device. And it's a seven, iPhone 7. I can, you know, make sure it's only landscape left. You can play around with these, honestly. Sometimes 
Some things come out a little bit wonky, but just play around with it a couple times. When you're ready to go, just click the play button and it's gonna start building and you're good to go. So, I am going to put a link to the final version of what this app looks like. If you have any questions, please let me know, but that's a really fast paced tutorial on how to get going with an augmented reality app in Unity. Thanks for watching.